Okay, so we're pretty much done with this. Um, I put a couple more details on the camera, just a little bit darkened up on the, the lens there. Um, and now I'm gonna pull the tape off. I, I think I'm pretty much done. I don't think there's a whole lot else I really wanna do here. Um, and you'll notice that where I've taped it, I've got this great white that's left, which could certainly be the reflections, right? And you do have to be careful when you get painter's tape, um, when you're working on a project, that you don't leave it on too long. So if you leave it on a too long of a time, you know, eventually, especially if you, your uh, studio or your workspace is really warm, the tape can actually, the uh, tape can actually bond with the paper and then you, you can rip your paper, which you don't really want to do. So here I've got my, my highlight and you can see where I want to kind of make a little bit of a fix to this. I've got just a little tiny bit too much water on my brush there. I've got, not, I've not botched it, but I've, I need to absorb a little bit up. Just wanna fix this little spot here. Good, I think that might work. Let me try one more little swipe. There we go. Okay. I'll just get a tiny bit more of this brown. And I don't want too much water on my brush because I don't want it to go into this other spot here. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more thing here. I've got this big white spot here, and I've also got this big white spot here, but there's a little tiny bit of detail I need to put in on these. <clears throat> so on this, this one, I'm gonna get a little bit of this yellow that I mixed up, and just a tiny bit of water. I, don't, I want it pretty watery. I don't want it to, because I want to, um, I want to put just a tiny bit, just a light little wash here, just to kind of make it, give it a little bit more of a natural look, so it's not just like the, the exact line of the tape. And tape can be really great, you guys, right? You put the tape on, and you've got this wonderful way to keep your whites your, where the light's hitting your subject, you can keep them white, right? Um, and it looks great. This is, I think this looks fantastic how it turned out. Um, we got the, we go. All right, so I just did a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit more water on there. It's gonna do one more swipe down here, down there. So it just, it's still pretty white, but it looks a little more natural. And then on this one, there's a little bit of a reflection um, from the window, and so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna paint that in very lightly. Let's get a tiny bit here, right. and we just have this kind of Right, so we have that little bit of a reflection from the window there, kind of goes into the rest of it. Um, I think maybe I'll round it just a little bit because that's what it looks like to me over there. All right, so. All right, and I'm gonna declare it done. Now, there's other things we could do to this, okay? Um, but we're not going to mess around with a whole bunch of stuff. There's a time when you just have to say, okay, I'm done with my, with my composition and I think it looks good. You can overwork things. If, if I could keep working at this for hours and days, um, but I don't think it would make it any better. All right, so now is the time to take your tape off and normally you would remove your, your staples, right? 
and then you would trim the area where the staples are so that you don't have holes in your paper. And notice what a nice frame the tape makes, right? You can see where the edge of the painting is. The format has been defined. The tape helps define the format, right? And now we'll take a quick look at how it looks compared to my still life. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna remove the, the camera here and we'll take a quick look at what this looks like right side up and looking at my composition. So we'll take a quick look here, hang on just a sec. There we go. So there's my composition, right? And we'll take a quick look at it with my still life. And so we'll put it right over here. And you'll be able to get a quick, a quick look before we say that this is the end. So let's see here. We'll try to brighten it up a little. So this was my composition. Normally I don't have sun on it when I'm working, um, but you can kind of see what we were looking at, right? We have a bottle, a plant, and a camera. And then this is what it ended up looking like. There we go. So that's it for the still life. Hope you enjoyed the information. And here is to painting. Get to work and get some painting done, you guys. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it a little better there. Okay, we'll see you next lecture.